All right, so here's part two of my review on the tack bars. What I did, I mentioned in the last video that I spent a day, didn't eat anything, and then I just spent a day off of one of these. Um, and before I get into all that, I wanted to, I want to kind of go over what I was expecting and what I wasn't expecting. Um, these are survival rations, so they're not meant to basically fill you up or keep you all content and happy. Um, I talked to Aaron on the phone yesterday about some of the, the ingredients and why it was designed the way it was. I'm hoping I can get him on the podcast because he explained it a lot better than me how how this was the food science behind this, how it was designed to keep you going, keep your energy throughout the day, not necessarily to fill you up. But um, So in the, in the future, I'll have him on the podcast and we'll talk about that. But with the, the price of this also, I wanted to kind of go over that a little bit. When you're getting when you're getting this, you're basically getting like five of the 2,400 calorie SOS bars. Those are like seven bucks a piece. Um, you're getting ten aqua purification tablets. That's like ten bucks. Um, you're getting the the ammo can. There's another ten bucks in the belt. So with everything combined, it you know the 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 price seems a little bit expensive at first, but it's really not when you think about everything combined and all of that. So um, with that, let's go through. You know some of the stuff that that I kind of wrote down here as I was doing this. Uh, the first thing I wrote down, one of the notes was that I still felt hungry and not, but not fatigued. Um, but like I said, this is about sustaining yourself, having the energy, your mental ability, all of that. What I did is I worked out in the barn a little bit. I went out and designed. I'm redoing my chicken house because we're gonna have. I've got to expand it a little bit. So I, I did that. So my thought process and everything was still, you know, normal. And granted, it's it's one day. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be, you know, a situation like that. If I have to go four or five days, it might be completely different. But my point is, I didn't feel any differently. I, my thought process was was clean. All of that stuff. So um, the other thing, I tried to split this up into three meals. Um, it was pretty tough to actually not eat it because it's really not that bad. You can sit and munch on it for a few hours and all of a sudden it's gone. So I had to, I had to actually pace myself because you can just cut off chunks here and there and, and then all of a sudden you don't have any. So I had to, you know, split it up into thirds and basically hit, save one third for dinner. Um, like I said, I was still hungry all day, but I wasn't, it was just that hungry feeling. I didn't feel fatigued or anything. Um, it didn't make me thirsty, although water would have been nice. And I did drink water throughout the day. So, it's it, again, it's one of those things It's tough to tell if you're three three days out. Say you've got a liter of water to last you three days. How are you going to be feeling? You're going to be thirsty anyway. Uh, but it didn't it didn't make me want to slam a drink of water afterwards. And actually, that the, the chunks and stuff in your mouth, it's almost, you know, if you don't have any food, it's almost like little snacks. So, uh, I guess I'll put it that way. Um, so you really don't want to wash it down. Um, third, I had my family try them. Lisa loved it. Um, again, this is just a, you know, they come home from school or whatever and, and say, hey, try this. Uh, it's not a three-day thing. It's not eating it three days straight. I have a feeling that if it were to go on that long, they would get, I would get sick of it too. But um, that's what, these aren't about flavor and all that and, and you know, having a nice little meal. This is about survival. So after a few days, you get hungry enough, you're going to eat them and you're still going to be hungry. Um, but it's you're going to survive. You're going to have the nutrients you need to do the work that you need to do. Uh, another thing, the reason I was hungry is because I'm used to eating probably four or 5,000 calories a day. And I, I know that's probably not the healthiest, but you know, that's why, you know, when I'm going back down to 2,500 calories, you know, my body's like, hey, where's, where, where's the other stuff? Uh, but the family liked them. Again, after a few days, I'm not so sure. Um, the, the other thing I like about these rather than the SOS ones that I had out before is these are individually packaged. So you can get this ammo can case and you can open one up and try it and you'll have a little bit extra room in here to put some other stuff. You can try it, see what it's like without destroying all five of them. Uh, with the SOS bars and the the, the Ditrex or whatever that's called, um, those once you open that package, those bars need to be eaten in a, in a certain amount of time. These will remain good for five years, even if you open one, try it out. You still got the other four left. So um, I like that as opposed to the other ones, just from a pure waste standpoint. Uh, I want to try them. I want to know what I'm getting into. And with those ones, you have to open it up and try it, and and you, you lose some of that. Um, 
the cost difference, like I said, between the 2,500 calories, um, when you when you put everything together, you've got the water tabs, you've got the ammo can, you've got those. It's not really much difference. And the food science, I know that when I talked to Aaron, he explained this whole thing to me. That's why I'm hoping to get him on the podcast. But these are designed to maintain your energy levels throughout those, you know, however long you have to you have to be eating these. Another good thing about these is since they're individually packaged, when I go camping, you know, one of these could be eat in each of my kids' packs or or when I go on a hike or somebody goes on a hike here, grab one of these, take it with you. You just never know. 2,500 calories isn't, you know, that could be the difference between surviving another day or two uh, if you get lost or something like that. So um, I do like the individual packaged ones and the ammo can. Just cool. These are easily easy, easily stackable and um, I never have enough ammo cans. You can always figure out something to put in them. So that's basically it with these. I'll leave a link um, below where you can visit Tack Bar. They've got a lot more information too. Like I said, I'm going to try to have him on the podcast and talk about these a little bit more because he really knows what he's talking about as compared to me. Um, when I was talking to him, I was like, you need to be on the show. So we're, we're going to see if we can get that figured out. Uh, but really cool. My review is, is really a positive review of these. I like them better than the SOS bars. A little bit more pricey, but for what you get, it's really not that bad at all. So make sure and subscribe to the channel. We also have the contest going on. Uh, we're going to be giving one of these away. Also, the Precision Holsters, we're going to be giving one of those away. And 72-hour, uh, 32-serving Legacy Foods, we're going to give away two of those kits in this contest as well. And I'll leave a link to that page where you can go as well. So um, those that stuff's going to be for podcast listeners, YouTube subscribers, and members of the Survivalist Prepper Academy. So um, with that, I appreciate everybody, and I'll get out of here.